Welcome Ben, the flower pot men at your service. Rugs arrived, fabulous. Just a textured one from Dunelm. And then I've also got some prints as well today. Sorry, it's very dark. Um, I got these from the house outfit. I will leave them linked below, but how nice. But now we're gonna try and get this rug underneath the bed. Tanya! I think he's scared of the rug. You're not scared of the rug, are you? You're scared of the rug. Do I like it here? Would you like to come? <laughs> to stay? Holidays. <laughs> Here's the rug. Good morning. This is the first time I'm speaking today, so please just excuse. I've literally, whoa, focus. I've literally just rolled out of bed, um, washed my face, so I'm looking very sleepy, but it is chaos down here today, people. Look at my skin, just living life, isn't it? Um, today is new sofa day, which is really exciting. However, I am here on my own and I do have this ginormous sofa bed that, let me put some lights on, that the previous owner kind of left for me so that I have somewhere to sit and sleep. Camera died. Great start. Great, great start. Anyway, I've done it. I've done it. May have scratched my floor completely in the process, but we have room. So I had to move my new sideboard i don't know whether you've seen that yet me and paul built that the other day um that was in that alcove over there um with some bits and bobs on it i shall show you so i ordered a couple of frames from h&m oh my god my sleepy voice <laughs> um <clears throat> and then over here we have my favorite thing ever probably in the entire world um this is a lamp from stirring silver it's my friend that i've known since college and she is just the most talented human ever. So this is a 1920s Kodak lamp. It's just amazing. I think I've shown it before, but it's just amazing. So I was very, very, very cautious about moving that and making sure that that's out of the way. I might even move that all together when the guys arrive with my sofa. Anyway, so I moved, <laughs> I moved the big sofa from here took me about, it felt like about 20 minutes, it probably didn't, um, but yeah, this is the giant Ikea sofa bed, just fix that, that they left me to be able to use, which was so handy, but then with everything going on, being back at work and everything, I was like, I just didn't think about <laughs> moving that one, so that's definitely going to go on Facebook Marketplace or Free to a Good Home or something like that, because it is actually like an amazing sofa bed, it's just not really my vibe, it looks a bit sad right now as well, because it's a bit squished. But, hopefully, next time you see this, it will have a glorious sofa in it, and then we can get a rug to cover this really orange floor. Well, people, this is going to be the unboxing of all unboxings, because my sofa is here, and thankfully, I feel like I do like the colour. You know, like, when you've ordered something online, you're like, oh my god, what if it doesn't look like it? But it does. Um, but they've literally just dropped it off, and the van's still outside. Um, I didn't, I didn't know whether they were actually going to get it in the front door, but it was fine. However, here it is. <laughs> I know when my boyfriend Paul got his sofa delivered, like they literally unpacked it, put it together, put the feet on it, everything. So I don't know why I just presumed that that would be the case, but it's not. They just, they just delivered it, which is fine. <laughs> I've just signed for it. Whoa, where are you? It's here, but now I need to actually unpack this is weird i don't know whether i'm gonna be able to i can do this i can do it i've moved that with a giant sofa on its own so oh, oh it's really soft okay let's do this oh, look at the color do we love i love it all right <laughs> Yeah. 
him. Jesus. I'm sweating. There's my legs. Let's flip it. I hope I did a good job of cleaning the floor. <laughs> Can she tip it? Can she tip it, Bob? The builder. No, she can't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can do this. Ow. That's definitely on my toe. Okay, alright, okay. Yeah? Let me go get my lucky screwdriver, everybody. This could go very badly wrong, everyone. Very, very badly. Who are we trusting with this? Not me. Let's get this show on the road, eh? something quite substantial. The only thing is, I've seen loads on Desenio, I love Desenio, but the 50 by 70s aren't big enough and they don't have the oak frames in the like 70 by 100. So I'll have to source them somewhere else. And also they've got a really limited amount of prints that I really like that are in that bigger size. So I'm gonna have to think. If anyone knows anywhere that does like beautiful artwork prints on like a large scale that's neutral abstract those kind of things please do let me know because it's a struggle let me tell you but there's a sofa i will catch up with you when there's another update good morning it is now the weekend it's a good few days later and i'm gonna sum today up as i get my life together day you know it's one of them. I've done my nails this morning. I've got matching neon green toenails. It's just it's a vibe. Um, yeah, I'm just getting loads done. I've got loads to do for work. I've got lots to do around the house. Just one of them. So I'll show you my outfit. This is the fit for today. Hello, hello. This is one of the official studio collection pieces by Boohoo. It's limited edition I actually think this one's already sold out um but they do have lots of different colors and then I've got this little sage green top from nasty gal on underneath rooms coming together a little bit now obviously you've seen most of this I have changed my bed in for one of my old bed sheets I don't know um and then these are my new prints let me show you these these are from the house outfit I did actually film these when I unboxed them but I just want you to be able to see them in better lighting but they will go up above the bed over here so I'm hoping it will tie in the tones very very nicely so that is gorgeous and then a new addition that you won't have seen yet is this little vase and pampas grass collection so the vase is from a little homeware brand in Hull Paul actually picked this up for me we saw it when we were shopping for him and basically I really liked it don't know why it won't focus um, but yeah, and he went back for it for me, so that is very, very nice. And then I also picked up this gorgeous little bouquet. It did look nicer than this, I won't lie, when I actually bought it, but I had to take it apart to be able to put it in the vase because it has a hole in it. But that is absolutely gorgeous. So I will leave both small businesses' information on the other side of the screen for you to see, either their website or their Instagram, but definitely check them out because how beautiful is that. Now I do have it in my window at the moment and I know you're not supposed to have them in full sunlight so I'll probably have to rethink that but I do really like it. The other thing I haven't shown you in the bedroom is this. So it is an absolutely ginormous 
teddy bear blanket throw situation. I've been looking for one like this for quite a while. I see them all the time in places like Home Bargains and B&M, but they're so small. Obviously pricing is really good. I wanted something absolutely massive so that I could fully drape it over the double bed and I could have it fully cover the bed if I wanted to. Um, so I found this one on Amazon. It's 200 centimeters by 240. So it is big. It's called their king size blanket um, and it's amazing and it was about 15 quid so I'm buzzing. I think that's all the updates but I do have a little unboxing that I want to share with you because I had the most helpful delivery the other day so I'm going to take it downstairs and show you what is in it. You are so wonky right now. <laughs> this is where my dining table is going to be but it's not here yet so I'm sat on the floor. It's very very echoey so please excuse that i don't even have anything in my frames yet you're also just resting on my light fixtures for the living room Woo! but the thing that i wanted to show you was this i don't actually know if i've moved it this giant box from cherries i'm hoping most of you if not all of you will have heard of cherries before they are basically an online everything you could possibly need in life kind of a shop so if you like shopping at home bargains b&m all of those kind of places but sometimes you just don't have the time to go out to a shop cherries is your gal honestly the best ever they have everything you could ever want and honestly the pricing is insane so they have kindly gifted these things to me they basically gave me a 30 pound voucher so everything you see here comes up to under £30, which is absolutely wild to me. So I'm going to take you through what I picked out because this is going to be so handy. Obviously, moving house, you need all of the cleaning bits. And I've got some of them, um, but I've still had a lot to go. And this helps out a lot. So thank you so much to Cherries. If you like the bits that I am showing you and you think, yep, could do with that, they have also given me a 20% off discount code. I think it's Rachel Dixon 20, but I will leave it at the top of the screen here so that you can see that. And that basically works for your first purchase on either the app or on the website, which is really, really good. So you can get 20% off all this or whatever you pick, but it just makes it even cheaper. All of their packaging is recyclable. We love to see it. So I'm just gonna dive in. And we've got a lot, people, I have, I have quite a bit. Um, a couple of random bits, but I mean, living on my own, I need a first aid kit. So I did get a hundred plasters. They are wasproof. I also got this, which is so weird. Uh, I don't know why I've never heard of these before, but when I saw them, I was like, I need them. They're basically fridge fresheners. <laughs> so air fresheners for your fridge. I also got a measuring jug. I need one of them. It's pink, it's cute. I think that was about a quid still in. I also had to pick up some snacks. I mean, I just had to, you know? So I got Aero Dreamy Snow Bubbles. They look absolutely divine. I also got Cadbury White Oreo. And then I also got an absolute classic, Kinder Little Chocolate Bars. They are the bomb diggity. I may be five years old, but I don't care. I think it's really nice. So on to some like household self-care items. I mean, some of them are just hygiene. I've got a pack of toothbrushes. These are going to be my guest toothbrushes. I'm going to keep in my bathroom drawer so that when I have guests over and they want to stay the night but don't have a toothbrush, there will be one there ready for them. I also picked up Colgate Max White Sparkle Diamond Toothpaste. Very interesting. And my favourite body wash ever. It's the Imperial Leather Marshmallow. That was a quid. We love it. And then the other little kind of self-care item, I'm really excited to open. And these are Malibu Lip Care Balms. So there are three different UVA and UVB protection lip balms in there and they all have a different scent or flavor. So there's watermelon, mint, and vanilla. So they look like they're gonna be amazing. So <laughs> I need it as well. Anyone else's lips just going crazy in this weather because mine can't hack it. They are so dry. Can't wait to dive into that. Now, exciting times everybody, onto the cleaning. I know my content is just getting absolutely wild now I'm 25 and in my own home, but 
it's the kind of thing that excites me. So I picked up some dishmatic refills. I do have a dishmatic and this was six refills for about two quid, which was really good. So I'm nicely stocked up. I also got this dishmatic. It is a scrubby, apparently. It says for barbecues, oven trays and heavy duty cleaning. So it's basically just like a metal scourer, but on a handle. So you don't have to ruin your nails when you're scrubbing and stuff. Um, I also got this mini fairy liquid and it is their clean and fresh apple orchard. It smells unbelievable. Um, I've got a fabulosa rhubarb one on the go at the moment, which is absolutely stunning. But I've got that for when it runs out, if it ever runs out, because it was huge. Um, then I got a little collection of Lenore. So I got Lenore Gold Orchid fabric conditioner. Everyone raves about that scent, so I picked that up. I also got the Lenore like scent boosters, also in that same scent, that gold orchid really excited to try these i think they smell unbelievable so they go together and the final thing that i got from lenore is the crease releaser i'm not gonna lie to you people i do not own an iron i'm gonna get a steamer but i've not got around to that yet so might have to ask santa but in the meantime i'm just gonna spray everything with a crease releaser and hope for the best but my clothes are gonna smell stunning my bedding's gonna smell stunning so an absolute collection of those three. I mean, some of these, like that can be like four quid in the shop. And I've got all this for under 30 quid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, talking about the Fabulosa Wild Rhubarb, I got the disinfectant spray. I have like the uh, disinfectant bottle, you know, like the Zoflora bottles. I've got one like that and I've also got um, the wipes and the washing up liquid, as I said, but this is the spray disinfectant. Wild rhubarb smells unbelievable. And on the very similar scent, I have quite the collection of pink stuff. <laughs> I do already own some pink stuff. I've got the paste, I've got the general like multi-purpose cleaner, but I thought I would stock up and I have quite a bit. First up is the Miracle Laundry Oxy Stain Remover. We love it. I'm an absolute liability. I like pasta. Pasta sauce on neutral clothing is just not going to be the one, is it? So pick that one up. Then I also got the bathroom foam cleaner. I just want every room in my house to smell like pink stuff because it's just beautiful. So bathroom cleaner. I also picked up for the bathroom the toilet cleaner. It's like just the bleach that you spin around your loo. I am getting through this already. I love for my bathroom to be sparkly clean and smelling gorgeous um, so I'm getting through my other bottle of this very quickly so that is a new one to keep it lovely and smelling like rhubarb and then the final thing I got is the pink stuff miracle cream cleaner that is an actual mouthful um, so I've got the paste but I don't have the cream so this is going to be like great for like splashing on my oven and stuff like that is in dire need for a clean so that's really good um so that is all the stuff that i picked up from cherries 30 quid well under 30 quid because my voucher was for 30 quid and i got literally all of this stuff and like usually pink stuff is going to be like two three maybe even up to four pound a pop and i've got four bottles of something from the pink stuff lenore these are usually four or five quid you know it's like it's such a deal look at all this stuff everywhere my apologies but yeah, I think that is an absolute steal for all of that stuff. So once again, thank you so much to Cherries. And if you are in need of an online shop for all your household goods and all that kind of stuff, do head over to Cherries because they honestly have everything. They've got stationery, they've got gifts. I've started to see some Halloween-y bits and some Christmassy bits popping up on there as well. So it's defo worth a little look. And then also you have the code that I will leave there. But time to put this all away. I get my cleaning on. First of all, I need to open these flipping lip balms because my lips are just not okay. If I smile, I feel like they're gonna rip. Can confirm, lip balm was very nice, very much needed. Now, you're not gonna be able to see this at all because it's so dark, but I'm gonna show you my cleaning cupboard. It honestly looks like I've got an issue, <laughs> but it's very well stocked. So here is the cleaning cupboard. It is not very well organized. I probably will get like baskets for it, but here we go. So I've got <laughs> everything in here. So loads of dishmatic refills, sponges for washing up. That's one of the fabulosa um, wipes. I've got lots of different kind of minkies and stuff. All of my... <laughs> One person lives in this house. One person. All of my washing stuff. <laughs> and then lots of kind of just disinfectant, washing up, all of that kind of stuff. Can you tell that this is like my favourite scent ever? 
Um, I also have a lot of Zaflora here, Winter Morning, definitely one of my favourites. And then this is another from Fabulosa that I really like. It's their, what's happened to the front of that? Um, it's basically their coconut scent and it is really nice. It's very nice for summer. We're coming out of summer now, but it's a nice smell anyway. But yeah, that is, <laughs> that is my cleaning cupboard well and truly stocked. Hello, hello, hello. So, one more update for you. It is already getting dark when I get home from work, so this is not the most ideal time to show you this update, but I can't be bothered waiting until the weekend because I'm too excited. So I've been working on the spare room. This is so orange. I'm gonna turn that off. It's so dark. I basically just painted the wall behind the dresser. So, oh, it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too orange. So I went with the clay figurine colour. It's the one that Gemma Louise Miles used in her office and it looked really kind of pink in her office and that was the one thing that was worrying me. So I got um, the colour card and things like that and I bought the paint but I wasn't sure whether it would go on the walls just because I wanted to see actually what colour it would be in this space but it's pulling much more kind of greyish in here which I really really like. It's looking a bit dingy <laughs> at the moment because of the lighting but Hopefully you can see the difference between that and the white. It's just going to be really, really nice with the contrast up on here. Um, so that's really nice. I'm really pleased with it. But obviously this lighting is honestly not the one to see it in properly. Hopefully you get the general gist anyway. But this room seems to be coming together a little bit. I do have an absolute mountain of cardboard still left over here to move and all that kind of stuff. Um, the sofa bed that I originally wanted is currently just not available anymore. It's just not on the website, so oh, that's really good. So I need to get on the hunt for that because I'm hosting New Year's this year for a couple of my friends. So I need somewhere for them to sleep. So I need to figure that out. That's everything that's been done over these past couple of weeks with work and everything. Honestly, everything's kind of ground to a bit of a halt, but it is nearly half term already. We've powered through. So hopefully I can get rid of some of this gray in the holidays as well. Get a nicer colour on the walls and just make it feel a little bit nicer for hosting guests over Christmas. Oh. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're not already following my Instagram, I'll leave it over here for you to see. So you can check that out in the meantime between my videos. But like I say, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.